Hey guys, and welcome back to StarCraft. I know, um, I, I know that I said I was going to be having some Project 99 videos coming out for you guys, and I really hesitated to make this video for you guys. The only reason I did is because I haven't had a video come out for a while. I really wanted a, a Project 99 video to come out next, but, um, well, I was having a little bit of trouble getting it installed and everything. Don't worry, I got it installed and everything. It's, it's ready to go now. Uh, and I'm definitely going to be making some videos on it pretty soon. But I also said that I was going to be making these uh, community project videos as well. And I, and I did want to, uh, to to make one of those. So that's what I'm doing now. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely have some Project 99 videos coming out next on my next day off. I'm, I'm, I'm going to definitely make a, make a video and, and have that out sometime next week for you guys but uh but yeah we're back here in, in starcraft with the community project and everything um it's not lagging too badly over here right now so i was, I was gonna go ahead and and do what i couldn't do last time show you guys the signs read the signs for you so um of course if you all watched the last video you, you'll know that this is the the entrance to uh well where you come out of when when you uh when you go through that portal at spawn and these are the signs that you'll see uh, start here. Placing uh, and breaking block is recorded, so that means that uh, if um, if you break something, we will know that you broke it. Uh, do not grief the builds of others. I will see it and ban you. Uh, these are written by onions, <laughs> but but uh, that that goes as any staff member will will definitely um, will definitely uh, take that as as a very extreme. Um, uh, thing there, uh, like I said in the last video, as far as modifications and stuff, um, like just this is actually a perfect example, and I, re oop, I, I really didn't mean to show you guys this until until after I read the science to you and everything, but um, this is a perfect example. You guys saw this bridge that I made last time in my last video. Uh, I also added these iron bars here. I thought it made it uh, give it a little more structure there and makes it look a little nicer. But uh, th this is a perfect example right here, just because. Uh, this, I, I kind of uh, altered this a little bit, and this isn't my build, but I altered this a little bit just to fit with my my design, right? And, um, and on the other end, uh, uh, Chuck T did the same thing. He altered, well, he didn't really alter mine really too much. I don't think he altered it at all, but he, uh, he like, added on to it. And, and you know, and, and that's okay. That's okay if you, if you, if you alter to a, a small extent to fit with the with the build in question um that that's okay that's okay that's acceptable however if the owner of the build um makes it clear that they do not want you to do that or they do not agree with uh with what you what you modified they have the complete right to um change it back to the way it was now uh, this is the theme, mountaintop village bridges connecting, and as you see, we got kind of a thing going there already. Uh, use use the forums for help and updates. You can also help make an underground dwarf city. Yeah, you know, we showed you guys that last time. If you make a house, I can sub. Uh, what? Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you make a house, um, onions could subdivide it to uh, let it so only you can edit the house. Uh, that's uh, for folks that are living here. Uh, we we actually I think um, I know we got at least one person living here already, and um, and if you if you don't want anybody to be able to get into your chest and stuff like that, just talk to onions and have her uh, subdivide. You uh, can send her a message on the forums and she could subdivide that that area for you so that only you can um, well you and, and staff can uh, can alter anything there. Um, and then of course. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of my rule here. No netherrack builds or cobble. Cobble, uh, it has, it's acceptable. I can you can use a little bit of cobble. That's not a problem. Um, if it's an accent or anything, just don't make complete builds out of cobble. And of course, no netherrack. We 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 kind of don't like netherrack. I mean, if if it's hidden pretty good, <laughs> just don't make a full build out of netherrack. I, I have a thing against that. I hate netherrack so much. <laughs> such a such an irrational hate for netherrack uh and then behold the rules break them and feel the wrath of my ban hammer so yeah don't don't break the rules because we will take that seriously uh and yeah so the community project has been coming along guys it really has um let me show you guys some of the stuff that i've done i'll show you some stuff that other people have done uh, I, I did this little hole here uh and put down the stone and uh, i was hoping somebody else would 
you know, fix it up nice. I'm not sure who fixed this. Up. I think Chuck fixed this up. Uh, he he changed it up. Uh, the starter house that you guys saw last time it was made of brick and everything. Chuck made it look a little nicer and put some stuff in it. Um, some chests and and chandelier. It looks like no furnaces and stuff yet, but I might throw some up and you know there or or what have you. Um, so yeah, that's the starter house, and, uh, I did show you what I did with my bridge there, and of course you guys saw this little tower that Chuck built over here, and I think this is a really neat tower, I like this tower a whole lot, definitely fits the theme with, um, with what it's connected to and everything, really nicely, I like these little portholes he's got there, which are really cool, yeah, and, um, yeah, he also built this bridge down here, this one here, which uh, currently doesn't really go in anywhere. I think he meant for it, uh, <clears throat> and I saw this bridge after I'd already put that hole in. So I guess we'll have two entrances, <laughs> one to the upper end, one to the lower end, or what have you. But I think he plans to pull that down over to there so that people can get up into the city easier. And that goes all the way over here, and it did go to a, a brick wall, but um, I did this, I world edited this out. Uh, this is new. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. I haven't even seen that. I don't know. That, oh, yeah, okay, so that goes... Uh, okay, yeah, well... But anyway, I, I put it through here so that it could go out here, and I guess uh, maybe wrap around over here or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, so uh, over here I saw a little thing over here. I didn't know he actually made an entrance over here to it. Oh, it's a nice little, nice little thing there. See, he didn't really alter the land too much. He just modified it to make it look like, you know. And, uh, and yeah, so this was, uh, well, I'll wait till we get up to it. Um, but I imagine all of this was built by the same person. It was actually built by Reship. And that's it right there. The slaughtered in calf, or, uh, slaughtered calf in, I should say. <laughs> Yeah, so Risha built this. I think it looks really, really good. I really like the use of cobble there. See, this is an acceptable use of cobble, guys. <laughs> when it's used as an accent or something like that. Um, and then he's got a little out, out, out here that I really, really like. I thought this was really cool. He's got the toilet paper there. And um, a <laughs> little spigot. I thought that was really, really uh, well done there. Yeah, I like how it like depresses down one like that. That's a... Uh, uh, I might would fix this dirt. I might fix that foam. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should leave things alone. But um, hmm. yeah, I'll leave this alone. I'll let him. I'll talk to him about them. I'll tell him about it just so he knows. I'm not sure if he knows about that dirt there. I guess an uh, outhouse can have dirt. What's wrong with the outhouse with dirt? <laughs> anyway, so this is a slaughtered calf uh, in. Um. And it's nice, nice little mahogany sort of wood looking things here. Nice little tables. And uh, I like how he really made use of the space like a real cafe would. You know, they'd, they'd, you know, so they'd squeeze people in like that. And, the, you know, the bar back back here with the taps, you know. That's really cool. Right. Yeah, and then I haven't seen the upstairs yet. I haven't even been up here, so i see room one. Okay, nice little view of uh, Chuck's tower over there, the top of which, no secret, no secret thing, okay, no secret thing, <laughs> uh, which would go to this room, I assume, nope, okay, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, rooms that you can rent out, sleep in, and rooms three and four are upstairs, so I guess we'll hop up here. Okay. These are the attic. Oh, okay, so these are the cheaper rooms, I would assume. <laughs> yeah, that's still nice. They're still good. There we go. So yeah, so that's Reshib's um, Reshib's Inn, which I really like. I think fits the scene really, really well and everything. And um, it's starting to get dark, but you get you get the chance to see how the city kind of looks at night now. This is starting to come along pretty nicely. Oh, uh, these down here, I believe these houses were built by Chuck in this well. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think it was Chuck. 
Yeah, he's got a nice little tap. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, ran out of recording there again. Um, wasn't paying attention. But so, yeah, this is uh, Chuck's little tavern down here. And um, that's really nice, I think. You know, it's, uh, it's got that real, you know, um, I guess like Skyrim sort of feel of tavern. <laughs> well, I don't even know if it's a tavern. Look at this. It might be a, you know, a committee sort of thing. Or what do you call it? City hall sort of thing. So maybe it's a city hall. Could be a city hall. I don't know if there's rooms up here we'd know. Uh, there is a room up here. I don't know. I'll have to ask ask Chuck what that is. But um yeah, I'd like this well. I really like this well. I like especially the use of this like uh cauldron for a bucket there and everything. Oh we got a skeleton down there. And uh and then he uh, made that coming around over here, which is really cool. I like that. And uh, oh I did this back here. I did the it's just like a little farm thing for him. And then I'm not sure who did this. This actually came came up later, after uh, Chuck had already built these or whoever built them. I think it was Chuck. Uh, somebody built this here, which is just like a hole in the ground. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a mine or what. It might have been Rocker. I think Rocker uh, might have went down there or something. Who knows? But um, so yeah, there's that. And then um. I will show you what what's going on in Door City. Not a whole lot, to be honest. I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. But but uh, but we're, first, I want to show you everything that's been done up here. And yes, there is quite a bit more, uh, believe it or not. At here, uh, you can see Chuck's. Uh, I think this was built last time. I just uh, didn't notice it last time. Uh, this is Chuck's uh, campsite here. He built that. And then back here, this was some land I had sequestered uh, because I was going to build uh, like a little farm back here. But you'll see what I did instead of that. I'm still going to do something here. Uh, I really want to make use of this spot over here. Um, let me set a day. Is there anybody else on? Uh, I want to set a day so I can kind of properly show you this to you. Let's go ahead and turn the rain off. Uh, I forgot the command. <laughs> that's how that's how little I've been on, guys. Uh, there it is. Um, yeah. So uh, I I I was gonna build like a little farmhouse up over here or something, maybe like a little st uh, stable back here. And, um, and some crops after I leveled this out and, and what have you. And then over here I was going to do like a little silo uh, with a uh, crane thing that was going to you know drop down to the river. And I know there isn't a river, but I was going to take this river over here and continue it along over here and go around over here and wrap around it. And the reason I did that is actually because I, I already started doing that on the other side. If you've read the forums, you, you kind of know that I, I did start doing something like that. So I'll go ahead and bring you over here and show you what what I uh what I've been doing over here. Um this over there, as you can already see is a uh, is a uh, Eric uh not Eric. Um Rocker Rocker 509's uh tower, I believe it's Rocker. Yeah, Rocker. Um and then this this is what took me <laughs> quite a while. This is what I've been working on the most uh, um uh since last time you saw saw me uh this river kind of stopped uh petered out right over here right there uh and i started just uh continuing it i tried to do the best i could um <laughs> i think it turned out all right actually this part was natural too uh but i think it was like separated right there and i just dug that out which needs to be smoothed out a little bit more because it don't look that great but uh and then and then this was natural and then it's petered out right here and then I continued on from there and you can kind of see um, yeah this is all done by hand here all of this so yeah it, this was just a pool and I pulled it out and I decided I was just gonna make a river so I made a river guys <laughs> so I did look at this river it's actually quite long uh, it went all the way over here over here Brought it around over here. I tried to make it look as natural as I could. Pulled it around over here, over there. Oh, here we go. Now this is pretty cool. I'm really excited to see how this comes out. This is uh, built by onions, I do believe. Um, looks really, really nice. I'm 
I'm really digging it and I think it's gonna come out pretty cool because look at this it's got like a little balcony thing I like how torch touches down over there I think she's probably gonna put struts up and maybe leave this open I don't know but I'm really excited to see how it turns out and uh, and and I put some rapids over here because uh, this was already falling down and everything um, I made it kind of dangerous. I put like red torches up back here. I actually even have warning sign if anybody's actually <laughs> traveling this by boat. Uh, caution, dangerous waters ahead. I'll probably put up more. And uh, oh, this is actually pretty cool. I thought this was cool. I thought, well, if a river got really thin like that, it'd probably you know chew out the wider, right? So I I kind of chewed it out wider, like that. And I kind of I need to fix that too. But I'll come back and do that. Um, and then over here, I made it to uh, where these I incorporated these rapids they got and put down some red torches um, to make it kind of choppier. And then I, I dug these out too. And these are actually go pretty deep. And I tried to make them look as natural as possible. And the water isn't going down like it's supposed to. There we go. Um, and and they're, they're actually pretty deep. I got a couple of them. I got that one and one here. And then. I got one right over here, which actually connects to that one over there after you go a ways. So, yeah. And you can't go down there with a boat, but if you get out of the boat, it's really hard to swim back up if, if you're not in creative. <laughs> and, and I made it like it was chewing out, you know, the mountain, you know, water eroding uh, the mountainside there. I thought that was pretty cool. And then I brought it around over here uh, through this and everything, which I need to smooth out a bit more. And then uh, over here, and this was a river here, which ended right, I believe right there, and uh, just connected it up to that. And then over here, this river is going to end up connecting, uh, wrapping around and connecting to that other spot I was telling you about over there. So that's my plan with that. <laughs> uh, real quick, let's go ahead and go take a little quick gander. Actually, uh, looking at the time, let me go ahead and restart the recording. So just a quick second for you. Uh, and just a quick moment for me, and I'll see you guys right back here. And we're back, guys. And uh, so, yeah, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I know you probably already caught sight of that. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, we're going to take a quick gander over here to Rocker 509's house. I do believe it's Rocker. Yeah, Rocker 509. This is his uh, tower. I think it's also doubling as his house. He made this bridge here, I would assume. It's actually a pretty, pretty cool looking bridge. I, I like it. I think it should uh, probably have some supports uh, along here, you know. Um, but uh, And I, I might uh, ask him about that or I might, you know, throw some in myself uh, if I get bored or something. <laughs> Which I, I seem to like coming around and altering people's stuff when I'm bored, uh, which isn't cool. I shouldn't be doing that, but yeah, I don't know. I just, it, it happens. But anyway, so yeah, this is his tower, and I think it actually looks really nice. It came out really nice. Again, another another great example of proper use of cobble um, as an accent rather than a, uh, a material, uh, main material. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look inside. I don't want to look in this chest because, you know, that would uh, not be great for since I'm recording at the moment. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at all the rooms inside and everything. Nice views that he's got. And up here at the top. He, well, I guess he's got signs on all of his chests anyway, so you can see what they are. And nice, lovely view. He's going to have a nice view of whatever onions building over there. Uh, this is probably where he saw the farm, was from here, <laughs> and uh, and everything else. Um, let's go ahead and go back down. I wonder if I can fly out of here. Yes, I can. Okay. And then, yeah, so this is uh, the other thing that I've been working on. Uh, well, I, I say that I've been working on. I actually um, cleared out the space and everything, used some world edit. Uh, it still looks really messy. I need to straighten it up, make it look nicer and everything. And, uh, and I put in the water, and I uh, tilled most of it, and uh, I put down the uh, mossy cobble and everything. So this is going to be like a little farm. And somebody was nice enough, I think it was Rocker, I'm not sure, but somebody was nice enough to come by and finish tilling it for me and planting and everything. And they're actually using it as a food uh, source, which is really cool. I'm, I'm really glad that I, I was just going to use it as a decorative piece. Uh, but uh, the the fact that people are actually using it for food, uh, 
you know, uh, actually using it for what it should be used for, uh, makes me happy. Makes me really happy indeed. Um, and I'm hoping more people move out here, you know. Um, uh, for a long time, stock has, has been, um, I think, I think, Stock needs to go back to being uh, what stock has always been. You know, a city of people, um, you know, who get together and just make wonderful, amazing things. And, um, and yeah, I'd like to see that again. And I, so I'd like more people to move out here and everything. And what I got planned over here is I'm, I'm going to do um, like a, uh, a, a trade post, you know, sort of thing. I'm going to have a farmhouse over here, I believe, somewhere. Um, and then... Uh, I'm probably gonna have like a, a barn over here and made into the rock probably and um and then the trading post is gonna have like a little dock there you know so that they can undock their goods and wares and whatnot hey reship's on hey oh uh okay uh quick pause guys um hold on i was gonna get in the team speak with him Let's see if you want to jump in this recording with me So I might pause the recording and uh, hop in TeamSpeak with him. Maybe. Nope, it's not. Uh, but yeah, uh, so... Uh, oop, uh, oh, he teleported me. <laughs> hey, Risha. Welcome to the video, even though you don't even know you're in the video yet. Oh, I saw it. It's already on video, bud. It's already on video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, hell yeah, I liked it. Uh, you'll you'll know whenever you see. Uh, there you go. Uh, that makes them watch it. I get some views that way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, cut out here. It was um, great talking to you guys again. It's gonna be even awesome, awesome, more awesome. I I was going to say awesomer. It'll be even more awesome when I when I see guys in Project 1999. Very excited about getting back. I'm going to have some more time off my hands here pretty soon, I think. And um, and yeah, so we'll 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 get some some videos out for you guys. So once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you do play Minecraft, please come build something here in the community project. We'd love to see what, what you know what stocks chops are as far as building and everything. You know. And uh, I think it uh, it's great to see everybody, you know, building things that we can look at, you know, uh, instead of having to travel long distances and things like that to look at it. Um, so, yeah, uh, see you guys very, very soon. As soon as I make a Project 1999 video, probably this weekend, so you'll probably get it early, early next week. And uh, I'll see you stockies in that video. Bye, guys.